Okay, um, I did say I wasn't going to do this, but um, I'm going to have a, a go at it. I aren't very good, and uh, things can go wrong because I'm trying to video the thing and um, and operate with one hand again as normal. Um, I'm using. I'm not going to use um, screenshots. I'm going to use um, the camera to to actually video the the, the screen itself. So I have got a screen saver, but screen capture, but uh, I can't seem to get them onto me film editor properly. They don't seem to work. They seem to go all clunky and they lose definition and everything, and they're definitely not HD. So I'm going to do it. This this is my method anyway. Uh, and I'm going to start off by just going into my word processor. Um, oh, wherever it is, oh, there we are. So there's my word processor and I shall go into, yeah, 50. And what I'll do, I'll go and look around for, I'll go around and look for a, a program which I've downloaded. Uh, that one will do. The Book of Remarkable Criminals. And there you'll see it pops up. There we are. So now what I want to do is to show you how to print this as, 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 a, as a booklet. And uh, I'm using a Hewlett Packard. I've got a little Hewlett Packard there. It's a Deskjet D1470. It's ages old, but it's gone on and gone on and gone on. I've got a, uh, I've got a lot of time for Hewlett Packard uh, printers. And the printer itself has got. When you load it, you load a little disc with it, and uh, they give you a, a little book format where you can print out the books. And how you get to that, I'll show you now. So all you've done is you've loaded your Word program and you've loaded whatever you're going to print into it. Um, I've got, what is it, Remarkable Book of Criminals. Um, and I'm going to go to File, up the top there, File, click on File and go down to Print, which will get me into the standard print window. And all, what I do then to get into the printing setup where I, I, I print a booklet, I go into properties. Now I've already set mine up and I'm not going to change it, but you can see what I've got. So you can, you can, you can look back and sort of do exactly what I've done. I don't, I'm trying not to confuse anybody. This is, so what you get now is you get the HP desktop document uh, properties and it's got advanced printing shortcuts features and colour. Well the colour is for your, your, your colour and your black and white um, and that shows you wh whatever they, they're like. Um, and the features is the one we want to go into. So if you go into features don't touch anything to do with unless you want to change it you can change the plain paper but I always print on plain paper anyway. Print quality is normal because that's fast. Uh, stay on portrait because it, it, it will change it round anyway. You don't have to alter anything. Uh, size of the paper, you're printing normally, everybody prints on A4 size and um, a basic RTL photo fix, well I aren't using that at the moment so I never use that in any case so I don't touch it and then I go on to show preview before printing and click, click the little box so it's, it's live like that to make it live and that will allow you to look at whatever you're printing before it actually prints and if you know you're right you've got it set up right if you've got the two pages so that that is a piece of fool's cap a4 and now it's in two halves ready to print as as two pages um so you've set the preview to, so you can see it before you print it gives you a chance that to, to gather your senses set this to manual you've got manual on and off Set it to manual, and you've got two pages per sheet, one page per sheet, two pages, 16, down to 16 pages per sheet. Um, it prints two pages without any problem. 
and if you've got left binding and right binding and off you want to be in left binding so I'll go through that again plain paper normal print quality A4 size printer actual size and the basic RLT photo fix which is a little program which I don't use um, make sure you've got that little booklet there so you can see that there's two pages on one piece of fool's cap being printed and it's curled over from left to right um, and make sure it's on manual two pages per sheet left binding and click OK and then what comes up is your print page again if it's not there just go back up to print and get your print page again and then go to pages so once you're on pages just click the little whole page there and then in the box type 1 space and an actual space which is on, on the top line near backspace at the top of your keyboard just press the key in and that will give you a space a mark then a space and then type in 1 6 what you've done there is you've said to it print from pages 1 to 16 print what and it says the document so all the pages in the range because if you don't you'll print the whole book out you try and print the whole book out so you only want 1 to 16 which is a signature and the rest of it you don't touch so then you just click on OK and then you wait a couple of seconds This is a bit, uh, it's not too exciting this, but there she is. That's your print side come up. This is from Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard are doing this for you. And it's it might be different in, in another program if you're using a different printer or a different printer setup. But it will be very, very similar. And it's got start printing, cancel printing. If you're not happy with the picture, sometimes you might not be happy. And it might not be in line and things like that. Um, and you not, might not be quite happy with what you've got. Uh, so just print on, if you're happy with it, just click on start printing and then your little printer will start its little growling and uh, off it will go. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm actually going to print out the four pages. I'm not going to hurry it up or speed it because I did it before and I made a heck of a mess of it. I, I haven't got this um, uh, fast forwarding routine off yet. And, slowing down and hurrying up so I'm afraid YouTube's going to tell me off for putting an extra sized program in so I'll have to probably do this in two halves so I'm, I'm sorry about this little bit being a bit longer than I anticipated but uh, if you're doing it for the first time it'll give me a chance to think and what it does it prints it in the landscape mode with the um, with the headers on the top right normally it might be different on your, your machine I've got no idea now you can leave the papers in I put mine in to read them while I'm waiting for the next one coming along but uh, I've got me my, my other camera in, in the road at the moment so I lay them up like this and I lay them down in that position so that I can put them straight back into the machine again. On my machine, all I do is I take them out as they are, place them in order on the top, as you'll see. I just take them out and place one on top of the other, so as I've got 10 and then I've got 12, so as it's odds, it's evens coming out and then odds will be on the other side. And I'll put these back in exactly that way on, uh, the same way, but with the blank sides, that on the bottom. Uh, it might be different on yours so check. But I can only show you what I'm doing on mine because I haven't got any other printer. I haven't got a Canon or a um, I forget what the others are now. Sony's or whatever. I don't know what they are. But I always use HP. I'm quite happy with HP. I'm, I've been very very satisfied. And I've, had the, I've had a HP for forever.
Now it should stop on this last page because it's... There we go, it's stopped. So, um, in fact, I'm running out of ink. You can see the, the thing there. But, but because I'm doing this demonstration, I'm not too bothered about that. So I, I should have filled it up with ink or put a new ink, ink cartridge in. Anyway, you'll see that it's got on the machine now it's got print on both sides instructions and it tells you exactly what to do which way to put the papers in and everything else so you pick up the papers as they are tap them down and then you place them both back into the machine all back into the machine again and you carry on printing so you press the continue And what I suggest you do is to hold each individual page so it doesn't take two or three pages in at a time. Sometimes the machines do. So that's all there is to it. So I won't wait out for the prepare for the rest of it. But, but that's that's as easy as it is. It, there's no more difficult than that. So I'll stop there. I don't want to go too long because YouTube will kill me, give me a hard time for um, for going on too long and waffling. So you can see it coming out and the one side's done, the second side's done, so that's side 15, if you look there that's 15 and the next side is side 16. So and it goes on 17, 18 and there you print out and you print on and you keep going and you keep doing that until you've printed the actual book. So I'll stop there and uh, hope that's been some use, I'm very sorry I, I, I'm not no good at doing these actually I've gone to 12 minutes so I'll stop there anyway and uh, I'll see there